Alright, hello there ladies and gentlemen, welcome to an installation tutorial on the emulator Dolphin, which is a Nintendo Wii emulator and GameCube emulator. I showed some gameplay of it yesterday and I thought it would be good if I showed, uh, showed a how to install it, because it is a bit of a pain, although the all the instructions are on this website here, so you can get all the commands from here, but I'd rather show it on video just so you guys are 100% sure. So starting off with setting up the build and downloading all the stuff that's required. You want to down, um, copy and paste all of this, so make, sh make sure you get all of it. Get all of that. Uh, we'll ask you for your password. Pump, pump, pump. Uh, obviously I've already done this before. Uh, I deleted my uh, my finger my jobby already. I'll show you actually beforehand. Uh, just to make sure I have done as well. Uh, my dolphin emulator folder, so it's not in there. <coughs> This gets a repository for it, so boom, do that. Doesn't take too long. Okay, now that's done. You want to actually, because it actually creates the dolphin emulator folder for you as well. After you use that command, you want to go into that folder. So CD dolphin, uh, you can tab if you haven't got much folders like that, and it'll just fill it out for you. Um, OS show folders there. <coughs> uh, this command here, get origin as it says if you are, uh, wish to update your local copy it will update the copy that you have so you don't actually need to use that for now <coughs> so what we want to do is build but create a build folder uh, this is oh, started it wrong there uh, this is so when you do the thing with Joby for it what's it called I can't even think <coughs> Uh, when you're compiling it, so CD into that folder. So obviously, there's nothing in there just because we only create uh, created that folder. And you want to configure the build. So C make dash dash uh, dot dot. Sorry, it's another thing that won't take too long at all. There you go. Build files have been written to the folder that we are currently in, which is wicked. And now to start compiling it and stuff. So this will take a while so I'll obviously be editing the video afterwards so it makes it look shorter so make sure you have a bit of you know spare time and things to do in, in between because it does take a while so see you in a second guys okay, so now it's actually created that what we need to do is make install but make, make install actually usually wants you to be super user as it says here <coughs> so what you can just do is just go sudo uh, apt I think you can do it like this make it should be like make install and that should work maybe nope um, so if I just go sudo dash s and there you go I'm root uh, that's my mistake really <laughs> trying that uh, make install and there you go it's doing its thing and that was very very quick if I have a look now dolphin just run it now and here we go that is dolphin emulator installed Woohoo! okay guys so what I want to be showing you next is how to connect your Wii mode uh, into your dolphin on Linux <laughs> that sounds so so wrong I'm so sorry <laughs> okay so first things first um, swiftly moving on is you want to use the command here sudo apt git install blue man this installs a Bluetooth manager, which is uh, the preferable one to get it working um, on Linux. So, uh, yeah, Bluetooth manager is right there. Okay, so what I want to be doing now is searching, and that will be searching for my Wii remote or any Bluetooth device. Do that, and it should find my. There you go. So I press one and two there to put it into scanning mode, and you want to do proceed without pairing. That is because you can't obviously put a um, passcode into here, and you want to put input service. There you go. Uh, but yeah, you cannot put a code on here, so you want to do pair without, you, you know, without a code. So yeah. <laughs> so as you can see now, this is connected uh, even on here. Number one. Uh, so what I want to do next is put trust on here, and then disconnect whilst keeping blue man open. Uh, this should go off, there you go, and these should disappear now. Should disappear. Uh, it's not actually liking that. There you go, now I've disconnected effectively. What I want to do now is because I've got my, my Nintendo Wii 
remote working on here. Reopen Dolphin. Next thing is open Wii Remote, Wii Remote, whatever you want to call it. And Wii Remote scanning has started. Leave Blue Man alone. What you want to do now, one and two. Boom shakalaka! <laughs> you might have heard the vibration there, but what it just did then was connect to Dolphin. And it's also connected through Blue Man as well, so it's connected effectively to do things at once. And what they should do is work through my game now. So if I go open and do, 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 Dolphin Emu. No, I want to go on Jake Ward. I want to go on my desktop. Brawl ISO. And what I figured out from reinstalling this was that my sound, <laughs> my save files actually work now, which is brilliant. Um, so I'm glad I reinstalled it. There you go. So there you go, my, my data has been saved, as you can see. There you go. That's it fully working, guys. The Wii Remote on Dolphin on Linux. Which is awesome. But yeah, like I said, connect through there first, make sure you trust it so it stays up, keep Blue Man open, reopen this Wiimote, and always, it always starts scanning for your thing straight away. So press 1 and 2, which sets the Wiimote into scanning mode, and then boom. Uh, the next thing I want to be doing is um, buying a wireless uh, sensor bar for the Wiimote uh, so hopefully I can do the swish and flick stuff next uh, which I don't have at the moment so at the moment I can only play games which require the, the movement of these buttons and not any um, like Wii Resorts games or anything like that but yeah I hope you guys found this video helpful in any way rate and subscribe if you have done and if you haven't done so already <laughs> But yeah, thank you very much for watching this tutorial, guys. Uh, I'm glad to start making installation tutorials again. I hope to get a few more up in the next few days, maybe. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. Peace out, guys. See you later.